In this video, I'll consider the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, and then I will find its concentration after a certain amount of time. Now we're given that the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide is a first order reaction, and that means that we can use a specific formula, and I'll give that to you in just a minute. We have 2H2O2, that's the hydrogen peroxide, yields 2H2O plus O2. Under certain conditions, the rate constant is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 per second. That's the s to the negative 1, that means per second. And that's the units for this rate constant. If the initial concentration of hydrogen peroxide is 0.882 moles per liter, the molarity, find the concentration of hydrogen peroxide after 4 minutes. So the rate constant will be denoted K in the formula that I'll give to you. And we like these problems. We're given a formula and we plug and chug. We, we're given some information and then we're going to uh, plug that in and solve for an unknown. Now it's a first order reaction and for the first order reaction we can use this formula. The natural log of the concentration of the compound just some general compound now, at time t. So the brackets mean concentration of and sub t, that just means that after some given time. So this t is not a variable in this case, it's just showing us that we're talking about the concentration of the compound at some given time t. That equals negative k, negative of that rate constant, times t, and we're going to have to use the same units. We're talking about per second in the rate constant, so of course t will be in seconds. So we'll convert this minutes into seconds. Plus the natural log of the initial, so natural log of a sub zero, the initial concentration. And for our purposes, that's going to be 0.882. So now instead of A, I'll use the more specific to our example, H2O2, concentration of that. So let's jump into it. Natural log of H2O2 at some given time T equals negative 0 0.0015. I just took this number and put it into standard notation, multiplied by T in seconds, 4 minutes, equals 240 seconds. So I'll plug in 240 there. Plus the natural log of the initial concentration, that is 0 0.882. And so we have the natural log of H2O2 equals negative 0 0.48. Five, five, six, and it goes on. I've rounded there. I like to hold on to a lot of decimal places until the end. Now, what we have to do is we've got to use a little algebra for solving for the concentration of H2O2. And what we're going to do is say e to the power of each side. So, what that does is just gives us just the concentration of H2O2 because e to the natural log of something just gives that something. H2O2, the concentration of at some time t, and that, that some time is actually 240 seconds. But I'm not going to write 240 there. I just don't want to muddy it up with extra numbers. Uh, equals e to this number, and that is approximately equal to point. 615 molarity. It has decreased. That makes sense because it is decomposing. And uh, that is after how many seconds or minutes? After four minutes, which was 240 seconds. And really that's it. That's, that's it for the first order reaction. Of course, if it's a second order reaction, then we have a formula that is appropriate for that. I hope that was helpful. If you did find this helpful, please consider liking it or sharing it with a friend.